Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Lies and Logic, and my name is Matt Garrett. Today, August 4th, I'd like to touch on these Paris Olympics. As I'm sure you've heard the controversy about the two female boxers competing in the games that have been said to have the XY male chromosomes by the International Boxing Committee. Both fighters, Aman Khalif of Algeria and Lin Yu Ting of Taiwan, failed gender eligibility testing under IBA rules back in March 2023. The IBA was stripped of its recognition by the International Olympic Committee last year over governance and financial issues, empowering the Olympic Committee to operate under their own rules, which based on the opening ceremonies isn't surprising they would see past female athletes having male chromosomes. That was the most ridiculous display of wokeness I'd seen on international television, but I digress. Now, based on the studies I've been reading, it appears the IOC's claims have merit, as an individual who has the Y chromosome may in fact have testes internally or externally that produce testosterone yet lack the receptors to benefit. But does this Khalif appear to you not to be benefiting from added testosterone? Her father has stepped up to his daughter's defense, confirming with pictures that his daughter is and always has been a female since birth. It is also important to mention, reports have stated that it is illegal to transition in Algeria. Now, I was unaware that she had competed and lost in the 2020 Olympics to Kelly Harrington. I watched her losing match and I have to say, her frame at that time looked no more masculine than her opponents. She also has nine losses on her record, which to me alone says she has no natural physical advantages. I'm curious if perhaps her condition, if she in fact has one, which is still apparently speculation, requires some type of hormone blockers. If that is the case, I would highly recommend testing this girl's testosterone levels because something isn't right. She has the frame and jawline of a man, which can absolutely happen to women who take things like steroids and human growth hormone, or HGH. So either there is some type of cover-up by the IOC, which, based on the opening ceremonies again, wouldn't surprise me. Or the Algerian team has some top-tier doping science working for them. I myself already feel bad for assuming the worst about this young woman. I hope us in the middle and on the right can refrain from making misinformed comments before obtaining all the facts. Thanks again for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Your support has been really encouraging. I'll be back with more videos this week. This is Lies and Logic. My name is Matt Garrett. See you next time.